rule of rate is x motivation is crap be driven people right now maybe listen to this shit they'll be motivated to go run if it's cold somewhere where they're at a lot of my friends will shut that door go back inside that's motivation it comes and go as how you feel if you and your wife are good if you and your kids are good if you're good at work you're motivated i like a motherfucker whose life is imploded ain't got shit in life and says i still gotta fucking get after it today man that's what it's about so that's when you move from motivation to driven to obsessed and i want people to realize once you get to this portion over over here the driven obsessed part you're unstoppable the reason why i say motivation is crap because a lot of people will listen to this mm -hmm. and they'll be motivated they'll be fired up they'll be so fired up it's not even funny but what i realized in life is to have that motivation motivation is just kindling it starts to fire but that kindling once one rain job hits that little kindling mm -hmm. it's burnt out that's motivation so right now i'm giving you a spark you're giving people a spark there's a whole bunch of sparks out here but it has to be something that's deep down inside. So, so, so motivation is like this. If you're married and your wife is okay and your bills are paid and the kids are good and the dog's good, if everything is good, you can find some motivation. Because why? Your life is happy. It's that motherfucker that wakes up in the sewer every fucking day, has nothing to fucking go home to, has nothing. Bills aren't paid, doesn't know when the fucking next meal's coming, doesn't know shit, and still says, fuck it. I am going to do what I have to do to get to where the fuck I have to go. That's the difference between motivation and drive, and then soon, obsession. Obsession makes a person, makes other people, like, so when you're around somebody that's obsessed, most people don't have any fucking idea what to call you. So they call you crazy. They call you crazy because they don't understand where you're trying to go, what the fuck you're trying to do, what you're trying to be. So to the normal person, which we're all normal, we're all very normal, what makes people different is a flip in their fucking mindset. Once they turn that mindset to a point where they no longer want to be so-called normal, that's when you start to find out that motivation is not enough. It's not enough. You have to be that person who, no matter what's going on, if you're a big time runner, you don't care what temperature is. Like a whole bunch of people I run with, guess what they do every morning, every night, they look to see what the fucking temperature is going to be tomorrow. What's the temperature going to be? So I am I going to run inside or I'm going to run outside? A person that's obsessed and wants to just get there, they don't give a fuck what the temperature is. They no longer care because they know no matter what's out there. No matter if it's snowing, if it's, if, if it's a damn tropical storm, if it's 20 below, they're going to run. They don't care. So there's no need to waste the time to look. I'm just going to go. And that's how you want to get your mind. I don't, it doesn't matter what the fuck's out there, what's in front of me. Because a motivated person is going to look. Because that weather is going to fucking change their motivation. Up or down. Oh, it's 70 and sunny. I'm motivated. Oh, it's 30 in a blizzard. Fuck that. I'm going to go inside. An obsessed person doesn't care. They get the fucking job done. And you know the power of that? Yes. I'm not saying do that. Not. A lot of people get my words and they twist them all up and they get all confused. Don't get confused. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoy the video.